inspired me to start this project. So um, this past summer, I had the opportunity to intern with a surgeon at Stanford who works in the ear, nose, and throat department. And during my time with her, she asked me a riddle that I've heard as a kid before, but this time it made me think even deeper. So I'll tell you the riddle now. A father and son are driving when they get into a car crash and both father and son are very badly injured and the son is rushed to the hospital for surgery. So in the hospital, when the operating surgeon enters the room, they say, I can't operate on him, he's my son. How is this possible? Who's the doctor? The mom. So I have to admit that the first time I heard the riddle, I also said like a grandpa or something else. You don't think the mom. And the surgeon that I was interning with, she told me that when they told her this riddle while she was in med school, she guessed the gay dad. <laughs> so she really didn't guess the mom. And I think that this highlights the unconscious assumptions that our society is always making. Because we're often wired to think of men in certain roles, especially in STEM, and overlook women. And I don't think this is just about individual thinking, but it's about a larger cultural narrative that we play a part in. So I've been passionate about art since I was very young, and I think that art can be a powerful tool for addressing these deeply ingrained issues and ideas. And in my community, there's a lot of murals around the city, and they've always been inspiring because they're beautiful, but they also convey very important messages. So that's what led me to create this mural, which is called Steminist. So it's a combination of STEM and feminist. So the aim of this mural is to celebrate womanhood and feminism, and particularly recognizing women in science who often goes unnoticed. So there's a central figure, which is a young woman of color, and she's surrounded by symbols of technology and life sciences. So there are circuit boards and DNA strands, and these elements are supposed to reflect the interconnected world of STEM and showing that women belong in these places just as much as men do. I personally have been fortunate to have many strong women leaders in my life since a young age, like my grandmother, my mom, and all the women around me. And they've served as an example to how powerful women can be even in male-dominated fields. And I look up to my grandmother especially, and I'm so proud that she's been such a successful entrepreneur for the past 30 years. <laughs> I admire seeing women like my grandmother running this company or Babel Auntie or Iqbal Auntie or Lucy and all the essential women who are contributing to Sierra to produce cutting edge technology. At school, it's also kind of disheartening to see the number of girls in my harder math and science classes reduce every year and it's very noticeable. And these issues aren't easy to fix, but I think that it's important to start now to inflict change. And my hope is that this mural will serve as positive reinforcement for girls who aspire to pursue careers in, in STEM. And I think it's a reminder of like challenging stereotypes that have existed for a very long time. So I want this piece to provoke thought, inspire action, and open up dialogue about the importance of diversity and representation in science and technology. Personally, I aim to become a neurosurgeon, and as I work towards that goal, I hope to see as many women pursuing that path as well. So thank you all for being here today to celebrate this mural with me, and I hope that it encourages you to think about the roles that women play in shaping our world, especially in STEM.